Hi there guys, it's Eastwood for Life Fan here, back with another video. And this video is about a uh, YouTube community meetup that I had in uh, October, where myself and uh, a few others met up uh, from the community. Um, so three quarters of this video is going to be about that epic uh, meetup. And then the last quarter will be um, on some other movie pickups that I did uh, purchase in um, in October. So to the uh, epic community meetup, and this had been, been this had been planned for a number of months, and uh, myself and Scott, the movie critic, who I've met on a few times, we had this idea that we wanted to go up north to meet up uh, with our good buddy Nigel Rock God 2004. Now we come from the southern part of the UK so it meant a near four hour journey all the way to Hartlepool. So uh, we left on uh, the Friday night October the 11th and we got there actually on the Saturday morning early hours of Saturday morning on the 12th and then we met up with uh, Nigel uh, with his wife and Laura uh, Saturday morning and then uh, from Hartlepool, we went all the way to Gateshead, which was kind of like the meeting point to the uh, Metro Centre, where we also, Nigel actually planned that also John, Mondo Chelovec Movies, and Sammy G's World of Cinema were going to come down from Newcastle for this meet-up. And also from the Liverpool area, we also had Andy from Forgotten World of Movies, plus Mike from Cinema Axeman. So in total there were eight of us that had met up at the Metro Centre in Gateshead. And uh, what a great day it was. Um, first off we had a bit of a coffee meet up where all eight of us really really get on well. Very like-minded people and um, what made this amazing was the fact that the majority of us had met previously on live stream so to get all of us together was uh, something really really special so first off we had a uh, coffee and a little bite to eat and uh, it was kind of more John kind of organizing where we were going to be going into the uh, Gateshead Metro Centre because I think uh, John and Nigel had been there on numerous occasions. So after we had a coffee break and had a great chat, everybody got on, uh, which is kind of what I expected. Um, so then after we had a coffee, we went to CX, HMV, and also we went to a, uh, we, had, we had some food at a uh, kind of like a Big Luke's or Lucky Luke's, which is kind of like a buffet um, restaurant, which was, uh, which was also great and then uh, some of us had to depart ways at the end of the of the afternoon so basically this video i'm going to be showing you some footage and some photos and also what i picked up so let's get to some of the footage that i shot a little bit of uh, video footage as well as photos i will be showing here I haven't seen the transfer yet. Oh, okay. No one's. Was that a photo or a video? Video. Like a YouTuber's corner. I'm 
Hello. Okay, a bit of footage. Laura. Hello. Laura. John. 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 Yes. John, the voice on their Chalabek. Yeah, you got that right. I was trying to find the brain there, but he hasn't got a fucker. I'll cut that in. Can you believe it? So guys, I hope you enjoyed some of the footage that I shot and the photos that we took. And a lot of these photos and uh, the video clips were kind of clips and photos that we all shared from us all. Um, yeah, just wish I'd taken a lot more video footage, but when time goes really, really fast and you're enjoying one's company, it, you know, you kind of forget where you're at. But um, yeah, the time really did fly by. So uh, the first stop off after we had that coffee break um, was um, the CEX store in the Metro Centre and a pretty good CEX store in Gateshead in the Metro Centre. And the first movie I picked up was the number 23, a mystery thriller starring uh, Jim Carrey. Now, most of us know that Jim Carrey is more known for his comedic uh, performances but this one really did grab my attention uh, I've known about this movie for quite a while so I am curious about this movie and uh, the next movie is one I still haven't checked out Possessor directed by the son of uh, David Cronenberg and this is a uh, body horror movie guys let me know your thoughts on this one And then after we left the CX store, we went to the HMV store in the Metro Centre and a very good HMV store there. And uh, man, did we spend quite a few hours uh, buying up uh, quite a lot of uh, movies and, and vinyl um, albums and, and, and other stuff. Um, we went in there and uh, picked up a few 4K titles. Uh, this one I've been meaning to add to the collection and uh, missed out on the uh, 4K Collector's Edition. And this is Jewel, the uh, first movie of Steven Spielberg, a uh, TV movie. 
that he directed in the early 70s, a cat and mouse thriller starring Dennis Weaver. Fond memories of watching this one on TV as a kid. Very, very good movie. Uh, the next two movies were movies that I was hoping that I was going to see in the HMV store and needed them to finish off the movie series. I did pick up the first two Jaws movies in those 4K Universal Collector's Editions, but I was happy just to pick up the standard 4K release of Jaws 3, which I haven't actually seen this one since the VHS days. And I do plan on a Jaws binge watch. And with that, I had to complete it with Jaws the Revenge, which I actually haven't seen because back in the day I kind of gave up after the disappointing third movie. But I've heard that this movie is supposedly a lot better than the third movie. So yeah, a Jaws binge watch is to be planned. And the last two 4K titles that I did pick up were from the 2 for 15 uh, deal. Love the first two Equalizer movies with Denzel Washington. And this is the, the Equalizer 3 with a, an Italian setting for Robert McCall. And the next one, not a huge fan of modern day horror, but I did enjoy this one when this one did come out on the big screen, Smile, and uh, needed to pick this one and add to the collection. And then I do plan on watching uh, Smile 2 if it's still at my local cinema. So that's all the 4K titles that I picked up and everything that I purchased in the Metro Centre. And also I did receive some movies from Nigel Rock God 2004, which I wasn't um, expecting. Uh, Nigel said to me, did I fancy some of these movies from his collection? Uh, the first movie was this DVD of a movie called 13. Um, I think Nigel done an update, which I commented on this movie and this great cast starring Ray Winston, 50 Cent, Mickey Rourke and Jason Statham, which I think this one's a crime thriller. And he said, did I want this movie? And uh, I was thankful that he wanted to give this movie to us. Many thanks, Nigel. Um, the next movie is a Burt Reynolds movie uh, called Shark from the late 1960s or early 70s. Now, I have seen a lot of Burt Reynolds movies from his career, 60s, 70s and 80s, but this one I've never seen before, directed by Samuel Fuller. It's a sea action and adventure movie from the uh, Signal One label. movie is Shark. And then Nigel want to, wanted to throw in this movie, Blood on Her Name. Uh, I think it's called Blood on My Name, as this one is a German release. Um, yeah, kind of curious about this one. I was like, no, not a whole lot on this one, but the cover just grabbed me. And the next movie, The Crazies, which I have seen the George A. Romero version from the 1970s uh, this one um, the remake which I've never actually seen before and the last movie that Nigel wanted uh, I don't know if I wanted to take from his collection as he was getting rid of these titles is the uh, modern day horror movie Megan which is, I think, a couple of years old. So, yeah, huge, huge thank you, Nigel, for wanting to give us a few movies. I'm really thankful that you wanted to give something to us. So, 
so guys there are all the movies that I picked up in the Metro Center with a few freebies from my good buddy Nigel Rockgod 2004 so we spent a good six hours in the Metro Center but the sad thing came as um, John Mondo Chalavec movies as well as Sammy G's World of Cinema they had to go back to uh, up New Newcastle um, they was only there for the Saturday as well as Andy Forgotten World of Movies and Mike from Cinema Axeman they had to return back to Liverpool but um, even though myself Scott and Nigel Rock God 2004 were a little bit downhearted as well as Laura Mrs uh, Rock God 2004 then in the evening um, Nigel was at a bit of a loose end uh, his wife uh, Laura had something planned so then we kind of decided on an idea of maybe watching a, uh, a movie at uh, near where we were staying at the hotel and uh, we chose to watch the uh, Stalem's Lot um, remake which the three of us really did enjoy and uh, so, I mean it wasn't as bad as what I was expecting now we all three of us went into this movie not expecting to be anything like the original and the three of us really did enjoy the movie in fact there were a few mo moments that myself Nigel and Scott literally jumped out of our chair in one or two scenes so uh, a much better movie than we thought I mean that wasn't planned uh, that was on the Saturday night and then uh, Sunday morning we did meet up with Nigel again uh, where we had a drink at one of uh, the local pubs in uh, Hartlepool and then kind of Nigel took us out kind of more or less like a, a drive around the uh, the beach area in Hartlepool and we had some fish and chips before myself and Scott had to make way back to the southern part of the UK so great great weekend uh, I'm really really happy that myself and Scott decided that we made a weekend of it and um, yeah just a great experience uh, meeting up with Nigel Rock God 2004, uh, his wife Laura, and um, John Mondo Chalavec movies, as well as Sammy G's World of Cinema, and also Andy's uh, Forgotten World of Movies, as well as Mike Cinema Axeman. All great channels uh, that I've interacted with uh, within the community before, and uh, will definitely plan on interacting with a whole lot more in the future because there's definitely another meetup in the works but these guys are great guys in the community and as they are on their channels and live streams they are exactly how they are in real life so all the, their channel links will be in the, in the description box down below please sub to their great channels you will not be disappointed so that is kind of like uh, my kind of review and talk on the uh, YouTube community meetup that we all had in October in Gateshead. And not forgetting the last few movies that I also did pick up in October myself uh, online. Um, the first two movies are movies that were recommended to us by Nigel Rock God 2004. Uh, this one he did do a video of and review uh, of The Island from 1980. This one has always caught my attention because of its cover in the VHS days. That's what the cover used to be um, in the video store days. And this one stars Michael Kane and David Warner now this is put out by a new company treasured films a limited uh, release this one Michael Kane and David Warner it does come with the book clip quite a bizarre movie never seen this one before uh, Michael Kane plays a 
a um, a journalist and while spending some time on the trip with his son he uh, decides to investigate on a small island off the uh, Florida coastline which has rumors of pirate activity and uh, yeah quite a bizarre movie but at the same time quite entertaining the island so yeah many thanks for recommending this one to us Nigel and also another movie he did recommend this horror movie anthology and I do enjoy horror anthology movies now I did recommend a British horror anthology movie ghost stories to Nigel and then he recommended this one to us scary stories to tell in the dark never heard of this one before till he showed this one in an update uh, did check out the trailer and it looks right up my alley so guys if you have seen this one let me know your thoughts and two 4k collector's editions uh, horror movies this one i did do a separate video of the uh, warner 40th anniversary 4k collector's edition of the wes craven slasher horror movie classic a nightmare on elm street and uh yeah getting the uh, special treatment as it richly deserves and hoping that they're going to do similar things to a possible second or third movie i would surely hope so but if you want to see this video this edition in depth i did do a video of this on the channel and the last movie that i purchased in october is the uh underrated horror anthology movie trick trick or treat from arrow video I did have the scream factory release for many years and uh, there were two editions of this the one with the original artwork got sold out pretty quick and uh yeah you get four horror kind of horror comedy uh storylines that kind of meet together into one yeah very underrated movie this one trick or treat with a very seasonal halloween uh, atmosphere to the movie trick or treat so that is all the movie pickups from the month of october 2024 so guys i hope you enjoyed the uh video uh the footage of the uh community meetup and in what i picked up in the month of october so guys till the next video stay healthy and well and as always keep on collecting hello nice Hello, John. Hello, Nate. I'll get you in for you. Hello, John. Are you all right? I'm all right. That's good. We're going around the clan. Hello, Mike. You all right? All right, yeah. That's yeah. good. Hello, Andy. Hey, how are you doing? Hey. Hello, Hello, John. John. The voice. Hello, Hello Scott. Hello. Hello. Where's Sam? Where's Laura? She is She's gone. She is having a fag. A fag. A fag. All right. Yeah. It's been a good deal, lads, hasn't it? It has. It's been amazing. It has. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what we'll have to do it again what very soon. Best Been an day. awesome day, mate. Absolutely yeah, loved it. 10 out of 10? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he dropped it. Yeah, dropped it to a 10 out of 10. He had to. And we've all uh, stuffed yeah. Wabby's yeah. fat fucking bellies, eh? This is big. Well, some of us have. Well, anyway. <laughs> Actually, I'll probably get more in there than I would in there, you know. Because you're an animal, right? Because yeah? you're an animal. I'm an animal. I wouldn't say I'm an animal. That's the wrong thing to say. Cheeky bastard. I don't know. John. Cheeky bastard. It's been... Anyway, so here's the next time, lads, eh? Go on, go on, go on. He's doing his chaff Right, so I'll see you next time. Ta-ta, mother truckers. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.